Good morning, this is Sunday morning. Just getting ready to get all equipped together to go to Plumpton tomorrow and start on the chance restoration. All being well, it should be a nice journey up there and hopefully now we've got some dry weather for a week we should be able to crack on during daylight hours to get on with the engine and the oil work on the boat. Although it's a bit cold, it doesn't matter, I'll just get wrapped up warm and be ready to crack on and get the work done. My brother will be coming over from Yorkshire while I'm going up the country from Essex to Wood Plumpton and will arrive hopefully on the boat around about four o'clock on Monday evening ready to make a plan of action to get on with the boat on Tuesday morning. First thing will be to expose the cabin roof, the wheelhouse roof and get the end of the beams clear so that we can actually dismantle the beam ends to get the roof off and hopefully then once the roof's off we can get the floorboards and the cockpit up and the framework that holds supports the floor out of the way to give us access to the engines all the way around and be able to dismantle the gear shift levers, the throttle levers, fuel lines, battery cables and whatever else is holding the engine in place. We don't expect it to be easy because it's been there an awful long time. So we suspect there will be a lot of grinding and cutting, hitting of hammers and chisel cold chiselling bits of steel out of the way to get to the exposed bits we need to and then get it all set up ready to come out on Wednesday morning. By which time the man who has the yard there where the boat is will be able to use his or about crane to hoist the engines out onto my trailer ready to come home. Once that's done then we can take the tanks out of the boat which I expect is going to be a nice dirty job because we've got diesel in the bottom of the tanks and also there's I suspect there's holes in the water tanks so it's going to be a big dirty messy horrible job but it's a job that's got to be done and once it's cleared out, the coal will be exposed to be able to do the planking on the boat, which will be our job I'll start next time I'm on the boat, possibly in December or maybe into the new year. Depends how the weather is and also how the finances are going with the making of the time to get together the boat and also with money to get more wood for the planking. Also, when we doing the boat there's always a chance there's going to be more hiccups along the way but we expect these things with both as old as chances and we will overcome these one way or another with a lot of tenacity brute force and maybe a little bit of ignorance but I don't suspect there will be a lot of ignorance seeing as I've been doing this job for 40 odd years and there's not many things in the boat that I haven't seen one way or another over the last past 40 years so it's going to be fun but either way so this is me signing off for now talk to you soon